Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with Phone Arena and right now I have the Ascent Mate in my hands, uh, the Huawei Ascent Mate. It's a 6.1 inch device and has really nice build quality. So anyway, uh, we did the unboxing just now and uh, as with any other device in our labs, we are going to test the gaming performance of this device. But first things first, this device is powered by the uh, in-house chip Huawei Mate. Uh, its own in-house chip, it's called the K3V3 and uh, the GPU powering this device is the Mali T658. Uh, apparently it can have from 2 to 8 cores configuration. So uh, we think this is a very capable phone in terms of gaming. So let's check it out then. Uh, this has a 6.1 inch screen, uh, pretty huge. Uh, as you can see, we cannot really uh, cover the whole screen screen in the portrait uh, since it is that huge and if we take it too far, it might not be uh, legible for you. So anyway, we've got these uh, few games here. Uh, I'll show you a couple of games which are very uh, highly graphical intensive. So like that uh, Modern Combat 4 which is based on the Havoc engine, Asphalt 7. Uh, Riptide GP was a game that was pre-installed on this phone uh, and I'll also show you Rail Racing 3 which has very great graphics and for a platformer and uh, not exactly platformer this is a uh, endless running game Temple Run 2 uh, most popular so you might want to see that too. So let's start with the uh, Riptide GP game we, have, we haven't played any game in this so far. So the good thing is uh, the speakers are really good and you can actually hide the uh, task thingy here, the shortcut thingy. So as you can see, pretty nice graphics Riptide has. Let's dive into a race right away. Something, something, something. Pretty awesome graphics. Riptide has been a long time uh, mobile game. It was there since the Symbian times and it was popular in other platforms like Android and iOS of course. The water physics are really nice, much better than what I had seen in Riptide 1 which itself was a good thing back then. So anyway, as you can see, pretty nice graphics, water crawling up on the screen. Not really great at playing this game because I haven't really uh, done it. So anyway, to get these controls back, you just have to swipe and uh, Let's just quit it. It has great graphics and performs really well. So I guess that's a good thing. So let me show you Asphalt 7 now. This is a game loft racing title that's very popular. It's uh, not the arcade type of course because it's a mobile phone. What can you possibly do with simulation? Again, as you can see the speakers are really loud. So I'm just gonna reduce the volume a bit. So once again, uh, this has a Mali uh, T658 uh, GPU, which is not really a uh, commonplace in most processors. You almost always get uh, uh, a power VR processor sometimes, uh, or probably uh, a Tegra processor for GPU. So uh, game developers mostly target those platforms. So you might not actually see the benefits of using this processor on a game like uh, a very mass market game like the uh, Asphalt 7. So there seems to be a problem in these uh, cutscenes. There seems to be a problem with the game as well, probably due to this. As you can see now it is uh, rectified. The graphics are very nice but uh, not as good as we expected 
because uh, the bling and the flare and the everything that is associated with these games are activated only on some devices. As you can see, the lens flare is there, but uh, the road shine and the other effects that come with uh, other graphics processors are not really present on this. But the gameplay, as you can see, is really fluid. And that's what matters in the end, I guess. Graphics are a good advantage, but uh, definitely uh, very much playable with this graphics. And if you if you are looking, uh, you know, at trying Asphalt 7 on the Ascent Made and how it runs on the Ascent Made, this is a very good indicator. Anyway, let's quit the race. So that's about it for Asphalt 7. Anyway, so let's take a look at the other games. Uh, for example, Modern Combat 4. So this is also a Gameloft title and is uh, developed by Gameloft Montreal, as you can see here. So this is a first-person shooter game, which is uh, very similar to uh, Call of Duty, perhaps. Modern Combat 5 is releasing soon, and as you can see, this is based on the Havoc physics and uh, game engine. We already started with the game and we are in the very starting stages as you can see uh, here in the mission 1. So the graphics are not as good as it is on the other devices. Uh, you don't see the lens flares and the dust on the screen which we were able to see in other chipsets like for example the Snapdragon. But otherwise the graphics uh, is good and the gameplay, uh, the fluid performance is of course really good. As you can see even the water is pretty normal, not like what you can see in other devices, other popular devices like Tegra and uh, Snapdragon. So I, we guess that is the problem of the chipset and game developers not choosing to enable the uh, chipset with specific features. Anyway, as you can see, uh, the uh, performance is actually really nice. It's very fluid. It's definitely uh, as fluid as we have seen, but the only problem is that uh, the graphics are not as good, but definitely a very fluid playback. So that was Modern Combat on the Huawei Ascent Mate. And finally, let's take a look at the Temple Run game, which is very popular, in fact the most popular game in the recent times. Let's enable the highest uh, visual settings, as you can see the visual quality is in best. So let's play it then. So you can see the shadows and the textures are a bit uh, on the higher side and the game of course performs really smoothly as expected. Anyway, so that was a quick demo of Temple Run 2 just to get a sense of uh, normal casual performance which is easily uh, available in these kind of uh, kinds of powerful phones. So anyway, that was a quick gaming demo of uh, some games, uh, graphically intensive as well as casual games on the Huawei Ascent Mate 6.1. Uh, do hit the like button if you like this video. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.